Hey everyone, this is Andy and um, in this video I'm, I'm showing you a new add-on I've created. It's called Asset Sketcher and um, it's very handy for creating uh, great uh, or larger scenes with lots of foliage, or objects and trees, grass, whatever. Um, so if you are a level designer or a game creation uh, designer, so you, um, you can use this add-on. Or if you create landscapes uh, where you have lots of objects little rocks, um, stones, grass, what else. Um, this is pretty handy I think. So um, what can you do here? You have an asset library, you can put objects in it and um, they will be listed here. You have some settings for your objects, you have a canvas um, list where you can put your canvas objects on which you can paint on and um, you have an enable sketching button. So Let's see quickly what it can do in action. So I select the grass object, press uh, this, uh, enable sketching, and I'll just click somewhere in the scene. So, um, okay, you see I have added some grass um, directly on the ground. I don't have to place it somewhere and uh, rotate it, adjust it manually. I just have to click the area I want to put it on. So I can paint. So the objects will be painted here di directly. Um, if I want to delete the uh, grass objects, I just have to press Control, and you can see the uh, the object is selected and uh, the icon changes to a knife. So I can just cut it, cut it off, and they will be gone. Okay. Um, I can select another object here. This is, um, for instance, a group with three uh, three objects, and um, the add-on just picks an object randomly from that list. So you can see this uh, are different trees here. Um, just delete them with control. If the asset list is very long and you don't want to scroll here, you just can pick objects directly from your scene. Uh, so just press Alt and um, you can see the uh, asset there is selected. So now um, select the tree um, or the rocks, or the stones, sorry. Um, okay. What are the settings here? Um, first of all, asset distance is, uh, I think, pretty simple. Just uh, which distance the assets are placed. So if I increase this value here to 5, um, they will be further apart. Um, so delete the objects. Z offset. Um, if the origin is not at the ground of your objects, you can adjust. Um, and the placement here with the Z offset. So if I increase this value to, um, let's say, 2, um, the object will be placed um, within Z offset, the local Z offset. So surface orientation. This is pretty handy if you have um, here um, want to place your objects on on this uh, hang here, or don't know how to call it. Um, just select the grass object. Um, delete the random rotation for now. Now you can see that it's perfectly aligned to the um, ground normal of the object. So you can slide this value down to zero and um, the grass will face upwards. So and you can transition between uh, zero and one. So um, also handy for the trees. Oops. So if I have a tree and I this value to zero and now it's facing directly as the normal shows but um, trees more or less grow upwards so decrease the value and you can see it will be facing more in the upwards direction. I can add um, random rotation values for the z axis or the um, x and y axis. I can add random scale values let's say uh, 0.4 so the trees will be um, have a different size. Um, so I have an, another value, sketch and stroke direction. So what can this value do? Um, let's uh, see it on a simple um, demo here. I have a fence object. It's um, yeah pretty simple. I will change some settings settings very quickly. So. This is uh, one fence object, and um, 
Yeah, now let's just create a fence. I can uh, change the direction and then just start painting and I will add a new fence very quickly. So, pretty simple but very effective and very quick. Um, for this scene I have uh, needed a very uh, short amount of time so deleting objects um, only asset objects that are um, added via the um, um, asset sketcher can be deleted so I cannot delete any other objects so just press uh, control and click and I will delete those objects <coughs> um, what else yes um, so here in the canvas um, list I have ground objects. These ground objects, if I delete them here, um, I cannot paint on them anymore. So I can only paint on objects that are in that list here. So by adding, by selecting the object and just um, say add object as canvas, I will add them to the list here and I can paint on them. <coughs> I can add um, three of the different types here of assets. I can add a um, group with different objects in it and uh, one object will be picked randomly. I can uh, put an object in here and I also can put in um, group instances. So this is a group instance and um, which uh, can be added via the add object to list button and you see that um, it shows a different, different icon here so um, yes so this is a tree okay I think that's it for this add-on so if you like it um, I will release it very soon and uh, the link to the add-on will be in the description so I hope you enjoy it and bye bye